All right, so welcome back. Um, I'm happy that you're able to join me back on the YouTube channel. And what we're going to do today is explore a way that we can create some really nice screen recordings by combining Screencastify, a web-based kind of Google Chrome extension screen recorder, with using Jamboard. And then we'll kind of explore even why I have my iPad connected and what we, what we might do there. So let me kind of show you this process. The idea here is that if we open a Jamboard on your laptop, which is what I'm doing right now, what I'm also going to do is demonstrate how we can get to that same Jamboard from the mobile device, the device right here. So when we're creating the screen recording on our laptop, we can essentially use this tool, the device I have above me, to do the freehand inking, almost using the iPad, but it can be an iPhone or an Android device as the inking tablet. So anything that I do here is going to pop up on the laptop and then that whole process is being recorded with Screencastify, which gives me that really nice front-facing video while I'm inking. Now I'm sure you could absolutely run iOS screen recording, use Jamboard ink right on here, but I like the idea of using this as the tablet, the laptop as the screen recording tool, and then when you're done, that video automatically backs up right over to Google Drive. So here I am, I've made a new Jamboard. I'll just call this Jamboard times Screencastify with iPad, right? So there's my new Jamboard. So what I'm going to do on my iPad is open up the Jamboard app, just do a refresh, and I'm going to jump into that exact same Jamboard right here. So I'm in the same space between the web version right here and the iPad version above me. So any inking that I do now on the iPad version is going to pop up on the web in real time. So now that we have that in place, I'm just going to erase all that content. <clears throat> I'll remove my iPad from the screen because you wouldn't want that appearing anyway. Like we don't want that in the screen recording. I'm going to turn off this front facing video and then start running Screencastify to show you what that whole actual process is like now that we understand the setup here. So give me a minute. I'm just going to get rid of my iPad. Let me close out this little front facing video. And now let's run Screencastify. So here we go, Screencastify in my Chrome browser. You can see my mic is on, my webcam is on, and now I can hit record. Now the advantage to doing this, like I said earlier, is that this whole process is now being captured directly on my laptop. So when I'm done, I don't have to export the video off of this device. It just goes right over to Google Drive. So now as a math teacher, imagine how I can grab my iPad right now and works as a math instruction to support my students. So hey everyone, welcome to this video. What we're gonna work on is 3x plus four equals 14. I can use my laser pointer, talk about isolating the variable, subtracting five from each side, go to my inking tool here. So we'll end up with 3x that's gone equals nine. And I can just kind of continue from there. So again, I got to ink on my iPad. I don't have to write with my trackpad. I can write on this much easier device maybe with a pen or a stylus if I want to. If I advance to the next slide on my laptop or the next screen, I'll do the same thing on my iPad. Now this is the part that's really interesting and I'm actually gonna turn my iPad back on because I want you to see what's possible when you can actually have the ability to import slides in Jamboard on your iPad when you're inside of Jamboard. So let me just minimize this a bit and get this out of the way to talk through this process. So I want you to see my iPad to see the process, but the reality is I would only be recording um, on my laptop. I would never show this part of the process to my students. I'm gonna to go to the plus sign down below on Jamboard on my mobile device on my iPad. I'm gonna dig into Google Drive and inside of Google Drive, I have the ability to pull up anything I want. So I'm gonna look for, um, let's say water cycle and I might have some slides just exploring the water cycle. So that's what I'm gonna open up right now. There's my water cycle activity. Now those slides just opened up. I need to give them a minute, and when I tap on these little triple dots, one of the options is expand. So notice how that got bigger. What I actually have the ability to do now is with the pointer tool on Jamboard on my iPad is grab one of these slides, pull it out into the Jamboard, make it much bigger and then tap off of it. So let's hide my iPad now. So by you, by manipulating the Jamboard on my iPad, I'm able to bring that slide directly into Jamboard and then pull that individual slide out, which gives me the ability 
to highlight, ink, or mark this slide up any way that I would like to. And then again, if I'm running my screen recording with Screencastify on my laptop, that whole process is being captured and backed up to Google Drive when I'm done. When I'm done marking up this slide, I can erase any inking that I've done. And you might do this while you're paused. I can take this slide, minimize it, and even trash it to get it off of the screen. And now I have a blank white screen to work with from here. I might even advance to a new blank frame on Jamboard. I'll advance to the same frame here on my iPad, and I might quickly mock up a T-chart, for example, but I can mark the whole thing up from here. So that's Screencastify with Jamboard, opening Jamboard on your full web browser in Google Chrome, and then marking that Jamboard up on your iPad. Awesome for math teachers or an English teacher that might want to like close read a short poem or a short story using the laser tool. So I hope this was helpful. Let me stop the Screencastify recording. Good luck making your screen recordings and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you get notifications and just come back and check out the channel often. I'll try to post as many new videos as I can helping you through um, kind of thoughtful uses of instructional technology. So thanks for checking it out. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you here soon.